Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll do problem number 182. As you can see, the problem is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. It says two people, two people, 27 miles, 27 kilometers apart. Two people, 27 kilometers apart, they start walking at the same time. They start walking at the same time and in the same direction. It's very important that we pay attention. They start walking at the same time in the same direction at their respective constant speeds. They're walking towards uh, in the same direction and they walk at a constant speed. We are told that they meet in nine hours. They meet in nine hours. We are further told that if they were to walk in the opposite direction, if they were to walk in the opposite directions, again at this at the at their same at their same respective constant speeds, they do not change their speed. The speed is always same, always constant. If they walk in the opposite directions at their same respective constant speed, they were to meet in three hours. The question simply is, what are their speeds? What are their speeds? What I want you to do right now is pause the video, solve the problem yourself. And once you have done so, then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds time. I'll give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Here we go. Alright. The very first thing I want to point out is that these time and distance problem they're called. These time and distance problems are not something, uh, th this particular one, it's not something that, that we are doing for the very first time. We have done many problems of these uh, of this nature, time and distance problem. They're listed right here. The very first one we did was number 166. We are at 182 right now. 166, 167, 172, 176, 181, 182 the pair and then we're going to do one more pair 186 and 187 in the future. But so far as you can see this is our seventh one. We have done we are, this is our fifth one, is a uh, sixth one, as a matter of fact. But we have done few of them before. And if you have not watched these videos, if you have not watched these problems, watch them first because this is where we learn how to how to build our skills. Because we don't just jump right here. Do you understand? So let's see what's going on here. Very first thing we know is that they are 27 kilometers apart. So here's a, let's give these people name. Okay, here's what's going to here's what's going to go on. They are 27 kilometers apart. This distance right here is 27 kilometers apart. One guy is standing right here, one guy is standing the other one, and they start walking. They start walking in the same direction. They're both walking in the same direction. And what happens? Eventually they meet. Right here is the they, they meet here. They meet here in nine hours. They meet here in nine hours because they're walking in the same direction. When they walk in the same direction, this guy walks in the same direction, this guy walks in the same direction, they meet in nine hours. Now instead of calling this guy and this guy, let's give these people name, let's give these people some logical names so it's easier for us to keep track of them. The guy who's behind, 27 kilometers behind this guy, obviously has to go at the faster speed. He has to go at the faster speed because they're going to meet each other over here in nine hours. Because he's going at a faster speed, I'm going to call him Mr. F because he goes faster. And this one is Mr. S. Okay? And we're going to represent small letter f, their speed. f represents the speed, speed of the fast guy. And of course, the speeds are going to be expressed in kilometers per hour. And similarly, Mr. S here will have small letter s, which we will use to represent the speed of the slow guy. It's very important that you set it up properly, logically, systematically. It makes life easier later on down the road. So now that it, now that it, uh, all of this is out of the way, let's understand what's going on here. How much does this Mr. S has to go? Mr. S has to go, let's call it D kilometers. We do not know what the distance is. But they're going to meet eventually in 9 hours. And during that, uh, in that 9 hours, Mr. S will travel some distance. That's some distance that he's going to travel. Let's call it D. Let's pick up from the top here. So that we can, so that we we have room to work in. So, what is the speed of Mr. S, the slow guy? The speed of S is Mr. S goes Mr. S goes d kilometers 
in nine hours. Why nine hours? Because we are told that they meet in nine hours. Therefore, his speed, which we are using letter small letter s to represent his speed, his speed must be because he goes d kilometers, d kilometers in nine hours. This is his speed, d over nine kilometers per hour, d over nine kilometers per hour. Similarly, Mr. F, the fast guy, Mr. F, goes. How many does he go? Well, he was 27 kilometers behind him. He was 27 kilometers behind him, so he has to go, he has to first travel this 27 kilometers and an additional d kilometers because during the time, during the entire 9 hour time, this guy, Mr. S, has already traveled d kilometers. So he has to travel 27 plus d. Mr. F goes d plus 27 kilometers in 9 hours, in 9 hours. So his speed is this, this is his speed, d over D over 20, D plus 27 over 9. He goes D plus 27 kilometers in 9 hours. So his speed is D plus 27 over 9 kilometers per hour. All set? Let's pick up now. Let's pick up. Let's keep on going. We again need the room, and they meet in nine hours. They meet in nine hours. That's it. We are done. Now let's talk about what happens when they are walking in the opposite direction. So now they're going to walk in the opposite direction. Watch what happens. Keep in mind that when they started out, they were 27 kilometers away. They were 27 kilometers away, and now they're going to walk in the opposite directions. This, this this scenario that we described here is when they are both walking in the same direction. When they're walking in the same direction, Mr. S walks d kilometers. Mr. F, the fast guy, walks 27 plus D and they end up meeting here in nine kilometer, in nine hours. When they are walking in the same direction, then the distance that I'm going to show you here, this, this is the distance we are dealing with here. This, this, this distance we are showing here, which is D kilometers here, or rather uh, 27 kilometers here, is 27 kilometers here. This distance that you see here is the same distance that we're going to show here but we're going to magnify it. We're going to magnify it. Same distance here. We're going to we're going to magnify it so that it's easier to see. Here we go. This distance here is 27 kilometers. So it's the same distance here, 27 kilometers. Now what's going to happen? Mr. F was here. Remember, Mr. F is here. He starts walking in this direction. Mr. S is standing here. Mr. S was here, 27 kilometers from him. You see, this segment is what we're showing here. We are magnifying it so it's easier to see. And they end up meeting someplace. Where do they end up meeting? I don't know where they end up meeting. Maybe they end up meeting somewhere here. Because this is a fast guy, he's going to travel more. So let's say they end up meeting here. Let's say they end up meeting here. Let's give this distance from here to here a name. We're going to call it D1 kilometers. D1 kilometers. If this is d1 kilometers and the total distance was 27 kilometers, if Mr. F, the fast guy, walks d1 kilometers, how long does it take them to meet when they are when they are walking in the opposite direction? They meet, we are told, in three hours. So this guy is walking this way, this guy is walking this way, and they end up meeting here, meet here in three hours. And during that three hours time, we are saying that fast guy walks d1 kilometers, therefore the slow guy must walk 27 minus d1 kilometers, 27 minus d1 kilometers. What's going to happen now is that, similarly, we're going to extract, okay, listen very carefully, we're almost done. Just like what we did before, just like we did before, we're going to extract now the speeds of these two people from this scenario. They're meeting right here. They're meeting right here in three hours. We know how much he's walking, we know how much he's walking, we can figure out their speed. Once we figure out their respective speed, once we figure out what the speed of F is, Mr. F, and what the speed of Mr. S is, those two speeds have to be equal to these two speeds because they're walking, they're constantly walking at the same, same constant pace, whether they're walking in the same direction or the opposite direction to each other. The problem told us they were walking always at a constant pace. So we're going to equate the two speeds and do our work. Solve for the D, distance. And once we have the D, we can figure out their speed. So let's do it. We're done with all of this thing. We need the room, obviously. And they meet in three hours. So now let's let's pick up speed here. So again, again, the speed of fast guy in this scenario, the speed of fast guy in this scenario, the speed of fast guy in this scenario, 
is he's walking D1 kilometers in three hours. But his speed is constant. We are told that the speed always is constant. If the speed is constant, then this speed, fast, the speed of the fast guy, has to be the same as this right here. So this, this thing has to be d plus 27 over, over 9. I'm going to raise this part here so that it doesn't get too crowded. This is their meeting point. Meet in 3 hours, we were told. Similarly, the speed of the slow guy, slow guy is going 27 minus 1, 27 minus D1 in 3, D1 kilometers in 3 hours. But this speed of the slow guy, this speed of slow guy when they were walking towards each other is the same speed as when he was walking, when they were walking in the same directions, which is D over 9. D over 9. D kilometers or 9 hours. There we go. And now we solve for these equations. We need the room. Where can we do it? Let's continue here. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have done it like this. I should have I should have been more careful. I should have put I, I, we should have had a nice check to position so that let's, let's, let's separate let's separate them, okay? Let's have a nice check to position. I'm D plus 27 over 9, I'm gonna put it here. D plus 27 over 9 and so this was this was the fast guy let's do the slow guy slow guy is 27 minus d1 over 3 which has to be same as d over 9 that's it let's cross multiply let's cross multiply d plus 27 times 3 3 times d plus 27 equals 9 times d1 9 times d1 open the parentheses we get 3d plus 81 equals 9 d1 and here cross multiply again 9 times 27 minus d1 equals 3d well actually I'm not going to do it I'm ch I changed my mind uh, I just realized I'm, I'm being, I'm being well actually it's too, not too late Let's, we, we could have what I'm about to do what I'm about to do now what I'm about to do now, we could have done it here. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to show you both ways. There is a nine here. There's a three here. Let's divide, divide both sides by three. So we're not going to have this part. It's just going to be d plus 27 equals three, three d one. Or we could have done it here. Cross out this three and this nine right here, which is what I'm going to cross out. This nine becomes three, and this three drops out. Or you could do it here. Three drops out, and three this becomes. I don't know why I didn't see it because I was just creating more work. So let's pick up speed. Three times 27 is 81. 3 times d1 minus 3 1 equals d and here we'll have d plus 27 equals 3 d1 let's keep let's bring the 3 d1 over here so 3 d1 equals this implies that 3 d1 must equal 81 minus d this is 3 d1 this is 3 d1 which means this quantity must equal this quantity d plus 27 must equal 81 minus d d plus 27 must equal 81 minus d bring the d's to that side so 2d equals 81 minus 27 81 minus 27 27 is made up of, uh, 81 is made up of 3 27's so if you take away 127 from 81 we're left with 227 which is 54 which implies the d must be 27 kilometers the distance is 27 kilometers. Now that we have the speed, now that we have the speed, we can figure, now that we have the distance rather, we can figure out their speed. I, mean, I need the, I really need the room, so we're gonna have to erase this part. We already know what D is. So therefore, since we know the D, the fast guy, the fast guy, which, who is going at the speed of f is d plus 27 over 9 but d we found out is 27 also so it's 27 plus 27 over 9 or 54 over 9 or 6 kilometers per hour the slow guy is d over 9 simply which is 27 over 9 or 3 
kilometers per hour. Question was, what are their speeds? And we just found them. Their speeds are the fast guy is going twice as fast as the slow guy. The very last thing we tested, we are done as far as the problem is concerned. The very last thing we're going to do right now is we're going to take a few extra seconds, as we always do, to verify our work, make sure our work is correct. For verification, again, we need the room. Where can we verify it? Let's, let's, let's erase all of this thing. Here's the verification. We were told that they meet in nine hours. We were told that they meet in nine hours. So in nine hours, F, Mr. F goes, in nine hours, Mr. F goes, well, he goes six kilometers per hour. So he must go six times nine or 54 kilometers. 54 kilometers. And similarly, since they meet in nine hours, in nine hours, Mr. S, Mr. S goes, must, must go, because he's going at three kilometers per hour, three times nine, he must go 27 kilometers. And are they going to be able to meet each other? Well, let's find out. The situation that we were dealing with is this. They met here. This was their meeting point. Mr. F started from here. Mr. S started from here. And now that we know better, now that, I, that we know better, I'm going to erase this thing and rewrite it. It was right in the middle. It turns out it was right in the middle. This distance that they started out with was 27 kilometers. And it turns out that this distance is also 27 kilometers because the total distance is 54 kilometers we just found out. The total distance is 54 kilometers because this distance right here that we are repre representing by D, D turns out to be 27, which means the total distance is 54 kilometers, which makes perfect sense because this is 27 kilometers and this is 27 kilometers. Therefore, the fast guy will, will meet the slow guy eventually at some point because he's, because he's going twice as fast as this guy. No matter what, the, what amount of time they are talking about, it takes nine hours it takes nine hours for slow guy to travel 27 kilometers. Well, in nine hours, instead of 27 kilometers, because of the fact that fast guy is going twice as fast, he is not going to go 27 kilometers. He's going to go 54 kilometers because he's going six kilometers per hour as opposed to three kilometers per hour. Therefore, by the time he travels 54 kilometers, this guy is able to travel 27 kilometers. 50, 54 kilometers from here, 54 kilometers from here is exactly here. When they were walking towards each other, when they were walking towards each other, what happens? Here's another way to verify it. Towards each other. In three hours, F will go. Remember, in, when they were walking towards each other, we were told that they, they were able to meet each other in three hours. Well, in three hours, F will go how long? How much? F is going at six kilometers per hour. The fast guy is going at six kilometers per hour, so he will go 18 kilometers. Makes sense. And in three hours, and in three hours, S will go how much? How far will he able to go? He's only going three kilometers per hour. Well, if he's only going three kilometers per hour, and we are told that he meets the fast guy in three hours, then in three hours, he can only go nine kilometers. And what do they add up to? Well, they add up to 27 kilometers. Which makes perfect sense. Which makes perfect sense because they were 27 kilometers apart from each other. So since they were 27 kilometers apart from each other, they start walking towards each other. And of course, because of the fact that the fast guy is going twice as fast as the slow guy, slow guy as they start walking each other, eventually when they meet, eventually when they meet, wherever they meet, at that point of meeting, at that point, uh, at that point of meeting, it's not here. This is another scenario. At that point of meeting, it makes perfect sense to say that at that point of meeting, the fast guy will have gone twice as far. The fast guy will have gone twice as far as the slow guy because he's going twice as fast. So you take your 27 and divide it into thirds. He's going to travel two thirds, which is 18 kilometers, and this guy is going to travel third of the 27, which is nine kilometers. That's all. Bye now.